Welcome back, folks. We are talking about World War I propaganda today. Your goal for this screencast is when you're done, you should talk, you should be able to explain why people would have enlisted in the Army or the Navy or some fighting force in their country to take part in World War I. As you move through this screencast, you should be taking notes on page 12, which is a chart and talking about what you see and why that would cause someone to enlist in World War I. So, if you've got page 12 in front of you, let's do this. So why would soldiers fight for their country during World War I? That's a great question. Some people were forced to. Most European countries had what were known as conscription laws, and conscript, conscription excuse me, means that there's required military service, that everyone is required to serve in the military in their country in some way. There are still some countries in Europe that have this law, but most do not. Other people joined for other reasons besides the fact that they were forced to. So we're going to talk right now about what some of those other reasons were. And by we're going to talk about, I mean you're going to look at some propaganda to try to figure out why people would want to join and fight in this war and how these images might help them do that. So in one month, Europe goes from the edge of war with the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, which you've talked about in, in multiple documents in, in a previous screencast. It goes from the edge of war to a world war that pulls in every single country in Europe, or almost every single country in Europe. Because of this, there's a huge, huge, huge drive to recruit soldiers for the war. These countries that are getting involved in the war need to train and mobilize a huge amount of men and weaponry. So they need people to join the army. So these propaganda posters get created for many reasons. We're going to concentrate on posters to today that tried to get young men to join the military, though. So... The United States eventually joins World War I. We'll get to this later, don't worry. However, we are right now going to check out some United States propaganda posters. So here is the first one. You'll see there's number one up in the corner, so should, this should go in row one. You've got a very serious Uncle Sam there looking at you. Might want to hit pause if you haven't already. So I'm going to move on to the second one, which is this. Just so you know, that bloody sword. Um, well, that's pretty clear. But you should know that the gentleman in the pointy hat with the long mustache, that is a characterization of the German army. And you can look closely, hopefully, at the bottom of this propaganda poster to see what Germany is standing on. So you should pause now, get the chart done for number two, because I'm about to change the slide. Here we have some Australian propaganda. Again, that pointy helmet means Germany. Uh, as you can tell, Germany doesn't quite look human, but very clearly is scary. So I'll give you a couple seconds with this. You might want to hit pause. French propaganda. It's a, a French soldier on the left there. If you haven't hit pause, you should do so. Moving on to poster five. I'm not going to pretend to speak French, but that red line behind that French soldier is, is the line of trenches that ran from the North Sea all the way through mostly France down into and in towards Switzerland. So that's what that red line was. It's British propaganda. Small children asking their dad a question. If you look at that little boy and what he's playing with, which cause of World War I is being glorified by showing this little boy with the soldiers? Think about that for a second. A little extra credit for you. Here we have another piece of British propaganda. I would really recommend that you pause this and read the whole thing. Here we have, uh, again, take a look at all of the images. That's a German on the left that's being punched in the face, but make sure you see what's kind of in front of the German. 
And again, I would encourage you to, to read all of the text and to really take a look at what's going on in that picture. Another piece of British propaganda. How is this going to make people want to join the army? It's a little bit different reason to join as shown here. And again, a, a third kind of more different reason to join the army, or not a third, another more different reason to join the army is shown here in this piece of British propaganda. Some German propaganda. Uh, you have some sort of a, an important officer and some sort of goddess of war in the background there. And then finally, yes, that is Jesus standing in front of the cross telling his the German soldiers to go and that Jesus, the good shepherd, will watch his herd and that God should return Germany's power and prestige to Germany and that the will of God, uh, like it is in heaven, will also happen on earth. So that's what that text on the bottom means, very roughly. I'm not going to pretend that I still speak great German, though. So, your goal as you watch this screencast was to be able to explain why people enlisted to fight in World War I. You should have multiple answers to that. If you do and you feel like you understood those propaganda posters, great. If not, go back and rewatch sections or all of the screencast. Thank you.